Hi everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update this morning. I trust and hope that you're doing great. And yes, there is Philippe and it is expected to make that closer approach to the Caribbean and possibly bring those tropical storm impacts. So we'll be going straight into what is expected. There is also Arena barely hanging on to its status as a tropical storm. And we'll talk more about these systems in a moment. But of course, uh, first things first, we want to take a look at what is happening across the Caribbean and what is expected today as it relates to rainfall activity. So here we can see some moisture across the region and we can see those thunderstorms across sections of the Bahamas going to Hispaniola and even over in parts of Central and Northern South America as well. Now, as it relates to the rainfall, so this is a map coming from the Euro, and the more colorful it becomes with those shades of uh, oranges, reds, even that burgundy and the purples, that is a lot of heavy rainfall, which is expected. So across parts of Florida, going to uh, the northern Bahamas, through Central America, into Colombia, Venezuela, there could be a lot of heavy rainfall, and even some cases of flooding. So a lot of that heavy rainfall can trigger flooding. For the Guyanas, ABC Islands, not seeing where much is expected. We're not seeing those colors to indicate that rainfall activity so euro not showing where there's going to be much as we head through most of today heading up through to the lesser antilles with all that moisture feeding into philippe there could be some showers and thunderstorms here and there across the various islands but of course it is the northern leeward islands that should be watching out for those tropical storm impacts which i'll go uh, into more detail very shortly but across the virgin islands puerto rico and the rest of the greater antilles hispaniola jamaica cuba there could be some uh, afternoon showers and thunderstorms popping up across these spots. And so now let's go ahead and talk about Philippe. But I want you guys to uh, kind of decipher something here. So here we are. This was the cone forecast last evening at 5 p.m. This was it. This is it this morning. So have you noticed the difference? Well, the track has shifted further to the west, which means closer to the Caribbean. And if you guys have been watching my updates, you would have seen where I've been talking about the fact that Euro alongside the Canadian model have been showing that closer Caribbean approach. And this is exactly what we see playing out. So those models have been very consistent about it. And now here, the, uh, the National Hurricane Center has shifted that forecast track, the cone of uncertainty closer to the Caribbean and as such, they are stating that interests in the Northern Leeward Islands should monitor the progress of the system. Tropical storm watches or warnings may be required for a portion of that area later today. And then as it relates to the hazards affecting land, there could be some gusty winds and even those rough seas as well, not only for the Northern Leeward Islands, but offshore of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. So that would uh, make marine activities a bit more dangerous, guys. So please be mindful of that. So uh, there could be some gusty winds across portions of the Northern Leeward Islands, those tropical storm force winds, although that is not a guarantee. The main concern, though, is as it relates to the rainfall activity because we know that the rain can trigger flooding so there could be one to four inches of rainfall tomorrow heading into tuesday across sections of the northern leeward islands now i want to point out something that would really be the determinant of impacts so let's go on to the satellite imagery of the storm and here we can see it now it is still being impacted by the shear all of that activity is confined over to the eastern half of the system because this is the entire thing right here but we're not seeing where there is much happening across the western side because the wind shear is pushing all those thunderstorms over to the east so that is where we see most of that activity taking place right now now should the system become a bit more symmetrical then that chance or that risk of impacts would increase where we see more of these thunderstorms all this convection over in the western side of it because remember if the center is going to be moving close and there is nothing much happening over in the western portion of the system then there wouldn't be those very significant impacts however if we're talking about a storm that is determined to get itself together and becomes a lot more symmetric then we could definitely see more of those tropical storm impacts so it is uncertain right now of what exactly is going to be happening with it but that is why the national hurricane center has stated that there may be those watches or those warnings being issued later today so uh, of course i'm going to be keeping you guys posted and watch out for my next update coming this evening now briefly talking about rena let's go on to the cone forecast here so uh the system is not looking too good whatsoever and uh we're seeing here that it is likely to dissipate it's going to become post-tropical later today and it's likely to dissipate 
dissipates as we head into tomorrow. So it's barely hanging on as a tropical storm with maximum winds uh, being sustained at 40 miles per hour. And it is moving up to the northwest at 14 miles per hour. So I will keep you guys posted on Philippe later today. I'll be posting that next update. So that is pretty much it for now. And I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond once I get the chance to do so. And as always, remember to be weatherwise.